What's going on? How are you guys today? Yet another day in the slum that we call New York City. It's actually really nice and beautiful, like maybe a little too bright, but clear blue sky. I wish I was tanning. It did look a little cloudy earlier, so I was like, all right, let me just go down and do some work because the second I go to tan, it's probably going to get uh, cloudy again. But uh, not a crazy amount going on this week. I'm a little excited because I hired a new guy today. I'm thinking about taking a three month vacation just to kind of, you know, get out of here. Uh, clear my thoughts, see what I want to do when I get back. And, uh, and part of that process means that I, I need someone to, to do certain things down here that are, um, you know, my guys only speak Spanish. So for them to go on the computer and do, do some of that stuff is a little difficult. And I, uh, my dad just is not reliable enough, unfortunately. My dad isn't doing that well. And uh, he, he seemed like he wanted to help me, but after he was down here one day, he was, thought it was too much. So um, I did hire someone. I'll let you guys know how they go for... Uh, uh, I guess the next week or two. I mean, the thing is, like, can I afford to hire someone else? In the context of this, probably, because if he only works 20 or 30 hours a week, it's not that big of a deal. Um, my current guys, I mean, look, they're Mexican. They, they like working. These guys want to work seven days a week, so they're making a lot of money if they work seven days a week. Uh, but this guy, maybe uh, five or six days. And even if he does work seven days, just not as many hours total. But uh, let me just take you guys a quick look around and then... Uh, uh, let me fill some orders because um, uh, I'm a little behind on the non-meat products, which means that I haven't filled the orders in two or three days. So we got maybe, you know, 50 between all the businesses. And, you know, when you have five different businesses, if you just delay filling orders for one or two days, they all add up. So we got one pound of boxes. The guy's already filled for Frankie's meat. The guys are just having lunch right now. They did a second pallet. Most of the orders that need to go out today are done. Uh, I have my, um, all the orders for the businesses I got to sort out. We have a decent amount of water kefir left if you guys want to buy it. We should have some more in stock this week as well. Of course, Best Bars. I did find an electrician that claims to, to know what he's doing on this, but he's busy. So he might come by tonight. He might come by tomorrow night to finish it up, but he was here one day. Seemed pretty confident, so maybe we'll actually get this sorted out. Kind of lost track of time. It's almost 3 o'clock. I was just you know training the new guy, which was taking longer than usual to fill orders. Uh, so the post office came before I finished everything. Uh, so uh, maybe about 30 of the orders, 35 of them already went out. We just have a couple more that we're going to send out tomorrow. So that's not that big of a deal. But the main thing to show you guys uh, is a freezer update uh, this week. Uh, so the promotion this week is going to be one pound of 100% grass-fed burger patties for free. Let me know if you guys like this. Maybe I'll give away two pounds. I feel like that's too much especially because we don't have a subscription service, but whatever. Th there's a lot of very affordable ground beef. So we have 93.7, 93.7 organic, 90.10 organic, 80.20. I think we have some 85.15 organic left. We have 95.5 top ground blend. We have a lot of ground beef that's very affordable around the eight, nine dollar range, cheaper than anywhere else online. And then the caviar is back in stock, of course. We're keeping that consistent, the sturgeon caviar and the salmon roe. Ribeye is back, and some of you guys were complaining that we have the 12, we have the 12 ounce ribeyes, but we're back to the uh, thick one pound steaks. Plenty of sirloin steaks. Limited amount of prime ribeye, so that'll probably be gone this week. Same with the prime strip steak. I'm surprised you guys didn't buy all of this yet because this is like Wagyu marbling, but whatever. Uh, we have a secret custom burger blend uh, that I might list. I think it's actually listed today. It's $10 a pound. It's a very special ground beef blend uh, that's meant to make burgers. So, you know, take this. Um, I mean, it's delicious as ground beef on its own. It's a very high quality, but um, uh, I custom made this to be a little more expensive to make like a gourmet burger. Uh, so that's something that I've been working on for a while for you guys. Of course, we have tenderloin in stock. We have a lot of ribeye stew meat incredibly affordable whole brisket whole beef belly very limited stock we do have plenty of picanha steaks plenty of one pound beef belly we got the one pound chuck steaks back in stock this is all ribeye we have the bone and ribeye back you guys haven't been ordering this but a couple people missed it so i got it uh, we're almost through all of the eye round roasts we have plenty of short ribs here plenty of whole chuck roll limited venison selection i'm trying to get some more i might not Wild boar is all gone, guys. I'm going to take wild boar off the website. We're going to replace it with just Iberical pork. Uh, we got a lot of 12-ounce New York strip steak that we're going to start selling this week. Um, skirt steak, hanger steak. This is the orders for the rest of this week. Plenty of beef heart and beef liver and beef tendons. I showed you guys that. Running a little low on the organ grind. 
uh, plenty of prime rib roast, decent amount of lamb brains might be out soon. You guys are plowing through the golden lamb organs. I might have to reluctantly order more. Same with the lamb. I'm trying to get um, a couple of lamb stuff back in stock. I got to double check the website. And we do have the chicken. All cuts of chicken in stock, whole chicken, breast, thigh, tenders. Almost forgot, we also have ground bison now available. And guys, I'm dealing with the cards that I have, you know. My vendors sell products at discounts sometimes, and I try to get you guys high quality meat at an affordable price. So we're gonna have maybe a thousand pounds of bison over the next few weeks at the lowest price online. You know, as much as I like to have, you know, my own slaughterhouse, my own operation, you know, little things like that do kind of get me excited that I can sell bison for, you know, $10 a pound because I'm not, you know, greedy like all these other companies. If I see it's going for 13, 14 everywhere else, to me, that, that's not an affordable price point. People cannot afford to spend $15 a pound on ground meat and eat it consistently. Yeah, I understand there's things like Kobe and Wagyu beef that you're not supposed to be eating every day that are supposed to be expensive, but $15 for a pound of ground bison, like to me, it's just a little too much. So I might do a giveaway on bison uh, one pound, maybe on uh, next week or the week after, just so you guys can try it. Uh, but I haven't decided that yet. And, and same with the 12 ounce strip steaks. I know you guys like the one pound thick cut strip steaks a little more. However, if I can keep the price a few dollars off per pound, you know, would you guys rather have the thick strip steaks and pay, you know, $19 a pound? Or would you rather have the thin strip steaks and pay $16 a pound? Um, those are decisions I have to constantly make. Um, also, I'm buying a bandsaw this week. Uh, if any of you guys are familiar with bandsaws, um, any technicians out there, let me know which brand is better between Hobart, Butcher Boy, and Biro. I, I look, I'm not mechanically inclined. I have no idea what I'm looking at, although a saw is much easier to fix than this commercial dehydrator nonsense. And the reason I'm buying a bandsaw is because I ordered 5,000 pounds of femur bones to come in at the end of this month. And when those come in, I'm gonna have to cut them up. So uh, I'm very excited because that means that the beef bone marrow is gonna be back in stock. And for some reason, although it's not like a highly profitable product and it's bulky and hard to ship, it's just to me, it's a product that no one else really offers consistently like in inventory and when they do sell it it's insane you have to pay like fifteen dollars for like one tiny marrow bone so i'm excited to have that back soon um 100 grass-fed grass-finished organic uh, marrow bones and some of you guys might be wondering you know is organic in the context of grass-fed meat really that important and if it was american meat yes if it's like australian or new zealand beef it's not as significant i do have a, a whole video dedicated to organic um, but that's more for like plant foods. I have a whole separate video on like meat marketing industry terms that you guys can check out that I did a few months back. But uh, I'm steaming along. Um, you know, I've got a burst of energy at the thought of going on vacation for a couple months, escaping the New York winter. We'll see. I'll see how, as I said earlier, I'll see how this new guy works out. If, if he doesn't work out, I'll find someone else. But I just need to get away for a few months. Then when I come back, hypothetically, uh, maybe I'll do a video explaining my game plan to you guys uh, for my businesses. But I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to think about it too much because I'm already completely over this nonsense. But we'll see. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses uh, to support me. Uh, you can... Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so that YouTube does not notify you of my videos. Therefore, check out the website, guys. Support me through my businesses if you can. Uh, definitely, if, if you want some of this water kefir, let me know if it's an okay price point. It, it was, the water kefir was really flying uh, the past um, two months, and I couldn't even keep it in stock, but we're doing pretty good now. If you guys, uh, if you guys don't order it, and the demand goes down, I can lower the price, but then the demand's probably gonna go back up, so I'm not really sure how to approach that. But uh, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.